this season and a lot of teams have come here and taken three points away with them. I see Tulsa hoping to be another one and that's a super save from Joe Rice. There's a really, really good header coming in and now Hartford can break but not a good pass. Returned by Tommy McCabe. The flag stays down and the flick into the back of the net. The appeal for offside, the flag stays down and there's your opening goal inside of five minutes. Everybody stepping out, raising his hand there is Makangila, but Epps very much onside. Just a, an easy finish once he gets that ball touched down. Good composure and then had the chance to get it in. Instead plays it back for McGlynn. They're going back the way here, Hartford. Kibato with the FR off the bar. What a save that was. A brilliant save by Warmel. However, when was the flag raised and for who? That's an interesting one. Far easier for a referee to give that in the center circle than it is if it happens in the penalty area. Diagonal from Bourgeois. Quickly onto this one. There's a man in the middle looking for 2-0, and that is outstanding from FC Tulsa. Lane Ferry makes it to the diagonal ball from Bradley Bourgeois. And then the cross in. And Blaine Ferry making no mistakes than nine minutes on the clock. Yeah, but this back line from Hartford is playing a dangerous game. That's twice now that they've been counting on that flag to come up. Some scripted plays. Looks like this time Barrera just going to send a long ball in. A fair bit of height to aim for. Keeper stays. The effort doesn't quite get close enough to the goalkeeper now. Tulsa. Bernal. Still has options. And one of which is the second goal scorer, Lane Ferry. Good ball to the back post. Another chance, possibly for three. It's too easy. It's so easy for Tulsa. Moses Dyer makes it three. And there's less than 16 and a half minutes on the clock. Defensively all at sea. And Tulsa outstanding in the final third. 3-0 Tulsa. It's another excellent diagonal ball. Just lifted over here and, and laid off for Moses Dyer. Joe Rice out off his line, tries to make himself big. Nothing to be done there. That's Blaine Ferry again. Chance here for Prince Sadie, but needs options. Twisting and turning, trying to get this one. Towards goal, which he does. Saved by Austin Wormel. We saw him do this last week and draw a penalty against Rio Grande Valley. This time he gets a good shot off. And a double change before the half hour is not something you see every day, but something had to be done. That, I think, might mean that we're going to see a 3-5-2. Yeah, I think so. Lappert's going to play on the left, McGlynn on the right. Hartford looking to get one back here, and they have done! Finally, a goal is scored. Half an hour on the clock, time for some brass bonanza. Hartford 1, FC Tulsa 3 is the comeback on. Not one minute after the restart of play, Hartford finding the back of the net. Maybe a little bit of interference there between the goalkeeper and his defender. Space for Patrick. Patrick. Prince Sadie marked by Patrick Segrist. That's a good delivery. What a chance! It's gone wide. The fans in front of us think it's a goal. They're all cheering and celebrating. It's going to dawn on them soon that it wasn't, and it should have been. That always should be an option for Hartford. That's what Omi Namazi is hoping for. Pass and move. Here's Lewis. McGlynn, they're encroaching into this Tulsa territory. McGlynn can hit them, does. Parried. Here's Elvis Amo, who's in an offside decoy. position. In this one. It was a decoy, but it did take a defender with him. Patrick Segrist. McGlynn, who's having more of an influential role. Forward from Barrera, headed away. Back to Danny Barrera, who got some on it, but not quite enough. Danny's got the family here. And, and really, it's been the, the simple ball, the tap-ins that he's missed that have been most damaging. That was brilliant play in the middle of the park by Blaine Ferry. A couple of drops to the shoulder, and suddenly FC Telfa are in for a chance and potentially a fourth goal, and they have it. The flag stays down on the far side. Omid Namazi has his hand raised in vain, and again, they're clinical. They are so clinical. One chance, one goal in the second Danny. half, thumps the ball away. Just the understanding between these Tulsa players. To, to instead of heading that ball on goal, just to set it up for Angel Bernal, just knowing that he'll be there. You know, they, they've done this before. 
And Lappert there all by himself. How about the vision been. from Epps yeah. there? Fantastic. It's stretched right now. Switch of play for Prince Sadie. Just Elvis Amo in support. Prince might have to go himself here. And tries to. Close, but no cigar. Be the top priority. It's not fun. It's not glamorous. But, you know, it doesn't matter if you score three goals if you concede four. And I think they need to start from the back and work their way up. They're looking for a fifth here in FC Tulsa. And they should have had one. The effort from Moses Dyer clips the post and goes behind. One of the rare opportunities in this area that Tulsa have been in and haven't capitalized. They had to miss one at some point. Yeah. The best are not cheap in this league. No, no, and it's not a single entity league, so, uh, well, I should say they, they don't have a single entity uh, market from which to work. They, they can draw players from all around the world. They can short, just decides to keep possession of the ball. Hartford can't score when FC Tulsa has it. Fernandez has a chance here. And Segrist, the cutback, and it's five, just like that. FC Tulsa capitalizing on every mistake that's been made by the Hartford Athletic defense. And it's a nap hand for FC Tulsa. Well, we've seen just about every way to engineer a tap in. Almost all of these goals coming from that area right by the penalty spot. This time it's the youngster Nate Worth just side foots at home. Great technique. Opens up to the far post. Nothing Joe Rice can do about it. I'm not sure that was meant for Prince CD with that pace. I think it might have been for Matt Sheldon, but again, communication an issue. Now, here's a problem for Hartford because this player is quick and he is talented, Marcus Epps. Already looking for options. And finally, he decides, you know what? <laughs> We've passed the ball enough tonight. We've scored enough. I want another one. It really comes down to the formula. I mean, the best teams are greater than the sum of their individual parts. Hartford, in, in some instances, is the opposite of that. And by Dragoon for Robin Lapper gets one back. It's 5-2. And there's still a minute left. But any excuse for some brass bonanza. Themselves for coming back next year. Lappert is featured in about maybe half of the time out of this year, whether he's starting or coming in off the bench. But he is really showing tonight that he wants a role, possibly on this team, possibly on another team. It, it also makes that challenge a little more difficult as well. When you want to sign a player, all things considered equal, they want to go to a club where they'll have success. So that'll be part of the narrative that Hartford will have to push in the offseason.